Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train up with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. And big bubble chick. Bubble, bubble. Big bubble, 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 Big bubble is still part of uh, the flavor train in 2021. He is doing his thing. A big bubble, ch -ch -ch bubble, bubble, big bubble, 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 big bubble. Yes. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Anyway, y'all. <laughs> I got my eyelashes back on. I'm just trying them on here and there, here and there, just to see how I'm going to be able to tolerate them. I used to wear them years ago, maybe, what, six? No, close to 10 years ago, maybe. But I'm liking them, I'm liking them. I'm just doing my little thing. Today, y'all, I was craving me some spicy noodles. I was going to fry me some fish. We'll do that tomorrow. But I'm just doing the regular Samyang hot chicken spicy noodles. I got some applesauce in the corner pocket, and I have fallen in love with these little roasted seaweed sheets. They're seasoned and roasted. It's basically what they have in those packets when you get it. I was ordering them off Amazon, but y'all, they have them in the Asian market store that I go to where I live, and they're just little sheets of seaweed. They've got, they're lightly seasoned. Yes. So what's the girl to do but crunch and munch? All right, y'all. And I got a little bowl down here. So um, I had to switch the bowls at my, my noodles wing because the other bowl um, just seemed too big. Anyway, let's say grace. Thank you, most grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Y'all, my mouth was watering. <laughs> All right, y'all. Get it, let's get it. Let me get my little bowl. I got I'll either Steph Stephanie Soul Honey Eats or Peggy Neal. I watched or Veronica Wayne. One of them, I saw them do it. So what's a girl to do but to do it? Mm. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm. And um, I'm, I'm not wearing my glasses because, of course, the eyelashes, but also because when you're eating these noodles, that the juice splashes everywhere. Be on my lens. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm. I love those things. They're just a nice snack. On Amazon, they have the teriyaki chicken flavor one. Yum. Of course, we just got water. H2O. And let me get me some more sesame seeds. everybody's been having a good first of the new year my mother is doing well honey she done got back in the kitchen to start cooking honey can't hold her down but she's done doing well she is from under being quarantined so to speak and uh i just tell her what thank you for keeping her
some people didn't make it, y'all. Oh my God, it's so good. Spicy noodles. I don't know what this brand is. If somebody asked me, but it's because it's in it's in um, Korean, so I can't see who it's by. But anyway, love, love, love. Mm. And that sweet apple sauce with all this spicy and heat. Perfect combination. God bless you and me. A perfect combination. Y'all remember that Stacy Ladder song, Johnny Gill? Mm, it's hot down there in that middle part. The noodles had that heat trapped. Feel that heat. But this is two packs of noodles and one pack of that hot stuff, that hot sauce. I'm going to talk to y'all about something real quick, too, about protection. protection <clears throat> oh I felt a spit fly up here I told you it was a sesame seed. sesame seed I'm so glad the relationship I have with God I'm going deep y'all so just letting you know I'm so glad for the relationship that I have with God, seeking him, praying, inquiring, seeking his uh, godly counsel, and then on the times that I don't seek him, if you will. And this is for any and everybody, because daily he loads us up with benefits. And, and for me, God keeps us from dangers seen and unseen. Whew. Let me tell you something. He
He will keep you sometimes when you don't even want to be kept. He will protect you when you don't even know that there's danger crouching down to jump on you. Oh. I can't even get into what has happened, but to just encourage anybody out there, God will protect you. Sometimes God will keep us from ourselves, won't he? God will protect you. Let me tell you something. When you are a person and you're not always so critical and you are just a genuine person where you are welcoming to people. You are generally welcome. You don't have any type of maliciousness. You might have caution. You might have caution in different things in your life. When you're getting ready to enter into a particular situation that you're not familiar with, we all have a level of caution. Oh, ho, ho. But when you are a genuine person and you want to see the good in everybody, again, you're cautious, but you want to see the good in everyone. In other words, the first thing you look in a person is not the, the good, bad, and the ugly. You, you, you're just open to be a rec receive people. But I'm so glad that we serve a God or I serve a God that does never slumber nor sleep. Ha! He's always on the J-O-B. Mm. When we're uh, not looking at potholes and cracks in the foundation and when we're not seeing things, uh, people around the corner that could cause you harm, hurt, harm, and danger, I thank God that he never slumbers or sleep. He's always woke. You know how the young people say, stay woke. Thank you, Father God, that you always stay woke. We'll sleep on some things. We'll dismiss some things. We'll put the blinders on some things. But thank God. I told y'all I was going to get deep, y'all. But I'm just saying, thank God. He never has to hit the snooze button. <laughs> He never, ever, ever has to hit the snooze button. Ha! Thank you. That's why when danger does come your way and you walk, and, and, and you're asleep, thank thank God, God will put people in your life. Oh God, thank God. He'll put somebody in the midst of what is happening and do one of these numbers right here. Hey, 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 hey. Hold up. That right there, you looking at that wrong. It ain't what you think because that might be what your go-to go -to thought, process, thought process is. But that ain't what it is. Because I'm finna show you what it is. And that's why things didn't work out the way they were supposed to. I'm going to cause all things to work together for your good. In this lane over here. You in lane in aisle number one. Oh, no. Your blessing and, 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 and how I'm going to work it out is over here in lane number six. Or lane number seven. You in lane number one, honey. You're looking at it wrong. And I, like I said, thank you, Heavenly Father, that you're... Bring the tap tap. Somebody say tap tap. God will bring a tap tap to you. So, cause you so somebody got your they hook a situation, got a hook in your mouth, and got you looking in aisle number one. But thank God, because of your relationship with Him, because of your relationship with Him, and my sheep know my voice, and others they won't follow. Oh, you 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 got a little led astray, uh, Tanya. 
But I'm finna do a tap on your shoulder to let you know, uh -uh, now it's, come, come, it's over here. So just be encouraged. And like I said, I am, I'm doing what I do. <laughs> I am my father's daughter, my heavenly father, daughter. And I wanted to just encourage you today. Sometimes you might not see things and that's when that scripture pops up to you and say, okay, he keeps us from danger seen and unseen. There are going to be some things in our life we're not going to see, but thank God. And you'll get that when you have a relationship and it might not necessarily be that your relationship is where you want it to be or it needs to be. But thank you that you got something in you. That will cause you to pay attention to the tap tap. And you're not so caught up in your own understanding. In your own ideas. and your own this and that and the other. But you can pause. And pay attention to the tap tap. That keeps your tail out of danger. Anyway y'all. Let me hush. Because Lola back there on my other channel. We be getting deep when we go. We're going to start back our Bible study lives on Saturday. But yeah, y'all. Lola, man. She said, man, does somebody go get Lola? Lola back there, man. But Lola, it's all right. It's all right. We love you, Lola. But this particular video may not be for you today. Just, just sit back and, and, and either listen or go on over there to Shalina and them. But, but, but today, what we're talking about, y'all, as a family on the table. Strengthen your relationship. If you are a faith-based believer in God. Strengthen your relationship. Get in his word so he so he can speak to you so you can live. Oh, that's all I'm going to say right now, y'all. For now. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. There's just some things that happen in your life. You can't tell it all, can you? But you can, you can still overcome by the testimony. For somebody else. And for those who have an ear to hear. They'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Without having to tell you what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> we're talking about God. Isn't it? It's all about God. Isn't it? About what he does for us. Daily benefits. I, my God. He just gave me some benefits. Woo. One thing about this year. And I spoke about it on my other channel. I'm going to be into some more self-care. I've always done self-care, but I'm going to be into it even the more. Doing more natural things. Like tumor, we're doing turmeric um, face mask. You know, to you know, cleanse your skin. Use turmeric and oil and mix it together and, and make a, a mask for your face and stuff. And then next week, I'm going to be doing like a sugar scrub. Putting sugar and lemon juice and oils and scrub, you know, to exfoliate your skin. You know, I got a couple of, look at my knuckles. They right rough looking. So, you know, that kind of stuff, just using natural sugar and lemon juice and, and, and a little bit of olive oil and just rub it all. And, and my elbows look like black asphalt. Yeah, we want some smooth elbows. So just doing natural stuff, natural stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing over there. Um, and what I'm doing, when I say over there, I'll be do, uploading little videos like that on my other channel. But yeah, y'all, I'm just telling you. And the other thing that I'm going to focus on, I know we all can complain about this and that and the other, or, or what's happening and what's going on. And the Lord's already let me know I'm going to be moving you some into, to some areas, uh, daughter. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but I need you to speak on it for the kingdom. So anyway, 
my thing is we talk about knowledge is power and having that knowledge is powerful but the thing of it is what are you going to do with that knowledge which once you obtain it once you have it once you have it in your dome and and have an understanding of it what are you going to do with that knowledge it's good to say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. But what are you going to do with that knowledge? How is it going to be powerful in your life? Don't just say you got it. What you going to do with it? What you going to do about it? Put that knowledge to work for you and your family and others in your community, for the world. So anyway, just, just know that Having knowledge is very powerful, but you got to do something with it. Hey, the word still says faith without work is dead, isn't it? Use that knowledge to be a benefit. So you can, that's part of those daily benefits. God give you knowledge on something. Okay, daughter, I'm going to give you a benefit here. I'm going to load you up today with this benefit, with this knowledge. I brought it to you. What you going to do about it? What you going to use? What you going to do? Because you can't please God unless you have what? Faith. Mm. And I don't care if that task you trying to do. Some people want to learn how to ride a bike. They never were learned or never was taught how to ride a bike. It could be something just that to other people very simple. It don't have to be a whole big grandiose type of achievement. And here's what's so awesome. I don't care what it is. God is concerned about everything in our life. Everything. Anything that is a thorn in your side that doesn't bring you peace. Because God, Jesus, he is the what? Prince of peace. So anything in your life that keeps you from some peace. It could be that you're a new wife or a new mother. And you've never learned how to cook. No one's ever taught you how to cook. And you can say, Lord, I want to learn how to cook. I don't have peace in my life. Because my husband looking at me funny because I, I fixed him some crackers with great jelly on it. Although that is good. <laughs> but it ain't, it's not particularly good for a meal to serve your family. It's a good snack. But your family looking at you and said, well, mama, we tired of eating crackers and jelly. Don't you got, can't you put some, you got a, 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 a freezer full of food. But you don't, you burn up the chicken every time you fry it. Lord, I, that's something that's concerning for me and my family. I'm just telling y'all. I'm serious. He's concerned about every aspect of our lives. Anyway. Y'all, I can jaw jack. Anyway, y'all, let me bust the move. I got the log back on. I'm on my lunch break. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Be loved with a Buster Move. She'll drink, she'll drink that juice. <laughs> I see you, my sister. I'm, I'm excited about her garlic butter sauce. Oh, you know it. I'm going to tell you something. And see, that's another thing that's awesome. When I was cooking the other day, I was looking in my season cabinet and spinning that carousel around. 
And I said, my God, I just began to praise God. I said, that is so awesome. I said, so for years and years, McCormick, Adobe, Goya, all of them are in the in my cabinet, my seasoning cabinet. It blessed me. It did. It blessed me that I can look up in there and I can see I got two more season, two more um seafood bowl season packs in there in my cabinet. I said, Well, how awesome is that? That somebody that I have sat down and broke bread with and correspond with every once in a while. I, I, I'm not a person that bother people. I said, but it's a blessing to know that she, why, why can't she have a condiments in the grocery store? Just like Paul Newman and all them. It's a blessing to look up in that cabinet and say, my God, God is still blessing. It's a blessing to me to see be love sauce in my spice cabinet. Dame Dash uh, sees, um, you know, his, his sauce. It's a blessing to see that. That's awesome. So anyway, I'm excited about uh, her new sauce when it comes out because I'm going to be all about it too. Oh, yes, I am. And I'm a, I love garlic. But yeah, I, I, again, just speak the law of kindness for people. Speak the law of kindness. You want the Lord to bless you? Let the law of kindness flow out your mouth. And there's a season for everything, isn't it? There's a season for everything. But anyway, God bless Dame Dash and his in 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 his business. Oh, any YouTuber that has has you know this platform has afforded them to start a business. Produce product, sell stuff, merchandise. God bless them. God bless them. Amen. I think it's awesome. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to go. Mm. I love me some applesauce, y'all. Just cinnamon applesauce. See, I'm a supporter of people. And that's not me boasting or bragging. I'm trying to say what I am and who I am. But let me tell you something. The Lord has been good to me. None of us may reach the level and status of other people as far as material, monetary, or whatever. But you know what? I tell the Lord, thank you for where I am because he is, he is sustaining me right where I am. I'm not in lack. And oh God, I thank you. I ain't always been there, but even, even when I thought I was in lack, God still provided. You know what? Let me go. Cause honey, I'll be, I'll be thinking I'm, uh, 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 I'll be up here trying to bootleg and, and somebody, Lola is ready and she done threw the tomato at me, but but anyway, y'all just be encouraged. And yes, I know there's a lot of things going on outside our window. I already been in prayer about all that on the Capitol. Oh yes. But I'm just telling you, we gotta love one another. Above all, you know, Listen to that song that Dolly Parton made and then Whitney Houston made real, real popular. I will always love you. And I love Dolly Parton and I know the story behind that song. And even with everything that was going on and the reason why she wrote that song, awesome story. Y'all need to go check that out. You know, why she wrote, wrote that story. Had nothing to do with a lover or anything like that. But anyway, just go read or, 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 or look it up. And after she said all this, and I hope life treats you kind, and I hope you have all you ever dreamed of. And I wish you joy and happiness. And then in the song it says, 
But above all, but above all this, I give you love. And that's all it is we got to do. We got to love one. And Jesus told us that. Above all, we got to love one another. You may not like my thought process, my ideals, and all of that. But we need more love for one another. It covers a multitude of sin. It covers a multitude of whether you hate my skin color. Or I don't look like you. Or my, my nose is more wider than yours. Or my hair is more coilier than yours. Or your hair is more straight than mine. Or your skin, your skin is more fair than mine. Above all of this, all of this, material money, all of this, I give you love. And I love y'all. And I thank y'all for your support. And let me get off this stoop so I can go on and clock back in, if you will. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for your prayers for my mother. She is blessed and she is healed. And God, our Heavenly Father, I thank you. And I want to thank you for stopping on the flavor train because what, what, for labor is where it's at. All right, time to get back to business, even though this is part of the business, but you know, the other, other part of the business. Love y'all. Y'all have a good, awesome day.